Hey, Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design. Got another real quick WYSIWYG Web Builder 8 tutorial for you. So I've been getting a little bit of feedback here lately on uh, YouTube through my contact forms. Uh, so it seems like uh, you guys want to learn a little bit more about the layers. So I'm going to get in and play with some layers again today. and just I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that's done. So what you're looking at right now is a theme that I'm starting to build. Uh, I've decided I'm going to try to crank out a couple nice premium themes here. So um, basically what I've done is... I created a layer along the very top of the page, and I, I did this with a graphic, um, and it's got this pull-down type uh, look to it, kind of like what you'd see on a, uh, on a smartphone. And what happens is when you hover over it with your mouse, a little menu appears like this. So I'm going to go through and show you real quick how I did that in WYSIWYG using, uh, using a layer. So uh, I'm going to go over to my master frame, which is, I always use a master frame, and this is going to, master frame is going to contain my footer right here. And my header and my layer so I can't really see I'm not sure why but with WYSIWYG uh, the background image that I'm using for this layer does not appear uh, I, I don't know if that's if that's an error in the program uh, if you guys experience that I, I'd love to know let me know about it but basically I created the background graphic uh, using Adobe Fireworks from scratch and I'm using that background graphic um, the graphic itself is extremely wide. I think I made it uh, 1920 wide, um, so that way I can account for for large screen sizes. And then uh, I have it centered, so that way that tab is in the middle of the screen, no matter how big the screen is. And I have it aligned to the bottom, so that way that tab is always at the bottom of the layer. Okay. And when you click on relative horizontal position and relative horizontal siding. You can see that this layer is, is only 960 pixels wide inside uh, the WYSIWYG program. But when we load it into the preview mode, you'll see that it stretches all the way across. And that's what happens when you click those two, those two options. And it's the same with this menu bar and also the footer. You see that they're only 960 pixels wide, but on the website they render all the way across. Which is great because... You know, I always struggled with the fact that I wanted a footer that spanned across the entire width of the page. But I could never really figure out how to do it. And I, I just recently saw a tutorial uh, about this myself um, for a different program, but very similar. So I decided to try it out and figured it out. And um, now I can have a footer that spans all the way across the page, but not be stuck to a particular page height. Because that's what, that's what always happened, was that if I wanted that width on the footer... Then I had to use a, a prefabbed image, and I, I was stuck to a, a certain size uh, page, you know. So this is, this is great. I'm loving this. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, so now what I do is, now that I have my layer all set here, what I'm going to do is go into my page properties, and I'm going to create an event right off the bat. Because you cannot resize a layer smaller than what the content inside the layer is, and what we need to do is we need to make that layer very short. Um, so it's only 25 pixels high. So what I'm going to do is unload. What I've done here is unload. So when the page loads, I'm going to animate. Okay. I'm going to animate client nav, which is what I've named that layer. And I'm going to, the animation I'm going to make is I'm going to make it high. And I set the duration to zero so that way it doesn't drag. It does it instantly. As soon as the page loads, you don't even see it. Okay. And then what we've done is we've added a few events to the layer itself. And these are mouse over events. So on mouse over, I'm going to animate client nav. And I'm going to change the height. I'm going to add another 25 pixels. And I've given that, I've given that in a duration so that way it, it looks like it's scrolling down. Okay. And then on mouse out, when we remove the mouse, it resets back to 25. And I gave that a duration of 750 so that way it looks like it's scrolling up really slowly. So when we preview that, that's what it looks like. Mouse over, it scrolls down quick. Mouse out, it scrolls up slowly. Just like you pulled it down and then let it go slow. Just like that. So, and that's it. That's that's this a real quick tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. It's just showing you some of the things that are possible. I just got started working with layers like maybe three weeks ago. Uh, I started learning them. So I'm learning a lot as I learn things. So if I find something really cool, I'll share it with you. Especially with that spanning it all the way across. That's awesome. Um, makes it real easy to make cool uh, things like these menu bars and, and footers that go all the way across. Um, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Alrighty, thanks.